Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN's Jim Acosta tries to twist Bible verse. Sarah Sanders takes him to Bible school. CNN's Jim Acosta has finally discovered the Bible, but he is misrepresenting what it says in order to take a cheap shot at President Donald Trump. However, Acosta was promptly humiliated when he was taken to Bible school by White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. It actually is not the first time progressives have cited the Bible. They generally use the Bible whenever they want to claim that Jesus was a socialist and would despise the Republican Party for not stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, even though there is no part of the Bible that mentions forcing people to donate their income to what others believe it should be used for. They routinely forget the Bible when they want to take any mention of God or any religious symbols out of the public square. They have no use for the Bible when they want to promote abortion. When they think they have something to use against Republicans, they become evangelists. That is what happened on Thursday after Attorney General Jeff Sessions used a verse from the Bible to explain American immigration policies. I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans 13, to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained the government for his purposes, the Attorney General said when he was speaking to law enforcement officers in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the Washington Post reported. Orderly and lawful processes are good in themselves. Consistent and fair application of the law is in itself a good and moral thing, and that protects the weak and protects the lawful. Then at the Daily White House press briefing, CNN's Jim Acosta, a man that is obsessed with his own celebrity, asked Sanders if she thought that separating children from their parents when they are detained at the border was biblical. This is a policy that was in place long before President Trump became president. Can I just ask a second question, completely unrelated? on these children who were being separated from their families as they come across the border," he asked. The Attorney General earlier today said that somehow there's a justification for this in the Bible. Where does it say in the Bible that it's moral to take children away from their mothers? It is very biblical to enforce the law, that is actually repeated a number of times throughout the Bible," Sanders said. Can you imagine the horror these kids must be going through when they come across the border? Jim Acosta asked. They're with their parents and they're suddenly pulled away from their parents. Why is the government doing this? Acosta, and the other reporters at the press briefing, somehow missed the parts of the Bible that include borders and include enforcing the law of the land. Sanders did not forget and was willing to educate them. Because it's the law and that's what the law states, Sarah Sander told Acosta. That's simple enough for anyone to comprehend, but that did not work for the CNN grandstander. That is actually repeated a number of times throughout the Bible, she continued before Acosta interrupted her. Where in the Bible does it say it's okay to take children away from their parents?" Acosta asked. That's not what I said. I know it's hard for you to understand even short sentences, I guess, but please don't take my words out of context," she fired back. It doesn't have to be the law, Acosta responded. You're right, it doesn't have to be the law. And the president has actually called on Democrats in Congress to fix those loopholes, Sanders said. The Democrats have failed to come to the table failed to help this president close these loopholes and fix this problem, we've laid out a proposal and Democrats simply refused to do their job and fix the problem. Acosta also knows that these laws are not new. They have been in place for several administrations, but it never mattered to grandstanding Jim before President Trump was elected. The faux outrage is ridiculous. Somewhere along the line, Acosta forgot that it is his job to report on the White House and its policies, not to be a social commentator. It is the reason the president, and others, continue to call CNN fake news. Acosta and his employer have no one to blame but themselves. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.